Okay, here's a problem that raises an interesting question. The radius of the Earth at the equator is 6,378 kilometers. Find the speed at which a person on the Earth's equator moves relative to the Earth's center as it rotates. So in other words, the Earth, uh, roughly circular at the, at the equator, it's spinning around. And so if you are standing at the equator, say right here, you're moving in a circle around the center. How fast are you moving? And you're given the radius here. And the other thing we know is that one complete lap takes one day. That's the definition of a day. So let's look at it. I'll show you a couple of good ways to think about this. We know that velocity is distance over time. And the distance is one lap. And one lap around is 2 pi r. So that's going to be 2 pi times this radius, 6,378 kilometers, and the time is 24 hours. So we can just divide that. Uh, 2 pi times 6378 divided by 24 gives me 1,670 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. Okay, another way we could think of it is this. We could think of the rotation, the amount of rotation that you move through. How many, how many radians do you rotate through in how much time? And that, that would be the angular speed. Okay, the angular speed is going to be the angle, how much rotation per time. And we know there's one complete lap, so that's 2 pi radians in 24 hours. So we divide 2 pi by 24, and we get 0.2618 radians per hour. That's how much the Earth rotates per hour. It rotates through 0.2618 radians. And then you can say v, the, the linear speed, v is equal to r omega, and r is given as 6378, 6,378 kilometers times omega, which is let me use parentheses here, 0.2618 radians per hour. And you multiply that out, and it comes out to 1,670. And you see we have kilometers per hour. So either way, this way is pretty compact and efficient, but this way of thinking about it is also valid.